Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Tuesday, July. I don't even know what date it is. I never know what date it is. But welcome to Pilates today. Uh, I'm about to go on vacation for two weeks, so we will not have these with me for two weeks. There might be a sub. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. Um, so this week, the core talk theme, I encourage you to come on over to the core talk. The core talk theme this week is self-talk during workouts. And so today, I want us to focus on how we are talking to ourselves as we're doing our workout. And are you talking to yourself? Is your brain wandering? Um, and if it is, if you are, if you do have like mental chatter going on to your head, can we shift that mental chatter so that it becomes a mental focus uh, and a mental positive coach. So you are your own coach when you're working out. You do have a teacher giving you information, but ultimately there is a little coach in your head who is telling you either you're doing it great or you suck or you're fat or you're tight. Those are the negative things that typically come up when we're working out, or you're not doing enough, or all of those things. So instead of that, we have to change that little voice in our head, and we have to be deliberate about that as well. So we're doing our physical, and we're also um, trying to work on the mental. Now, Pilates is so great in the beginning, and it has been, it was, I initially really understood this as a psychological um, break. From life because there's so much direction to be working on and when you fully focus on just doing what you're trying to do instead of working against yourself and doing it thinking about how hard it is then you actually get a break from all the crap you're thinking about so it's kind of like meditation that thought of staying focused on the breath while allowing the other stuff to drift away and then we start to drift we have to come back to the focus so today as we're working, I want you to be focusing, focusing, decide that you're focused, and then come on over to the core talk on Thursday at three o'clock, and um, we will dive into that more and just examine how you're doing that to yourself. Hello, welcome, welcome, come on in, um, grab your mats, uh, and we will dive into that self-talk piece more on Thursday, and you can kind of open that up and examine what's going on there so that you can change it, right? Okay, all right, so let's go down to our mat. Uh, I do not have my timer today, so we're just gonna wing it. We'll, I'll, I'll sense how long, 20 minutes is, it will be enough. So, come on down. Uh, first, let's just think about how awesome it feels to be in our body. So we start by enjoying oh, this moment of just being on your back. I want you to go ahead and just kind of move your pelvis around so you kind of rock your pelvis under and open. And then side to side, allowing that pelvis to open up and then do kind of circles around like you have a clock on the front of your belly. So the 12 o'clock is your belly button, the six o'clock is your pubic bone, and that face of the clock, you kind of roll around getting all the numbers, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, then reverse it, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 12, and reverse it that way. Okay, now take the knees and bring them into the chest and give them a little squeeze. And now, people often get this one a little bit, I don't really understand what I mean when I'm coaching it. You're going to hold on to your knees, you're going to pull your knees in towards you, and you're going to pull your knees to the right. You're going to push your knees down and away and over to the left. So we do a little circle of the back by kind of pulling the knees in again on that clock. It's almost like you're hitting those numbers again, 12, then you hit three, then six, and then reverse it and hit three. Oh, sorry, that was the opposite, good. And circle, 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 opening up your back. And then put your feet down, let's take a little bridge. Your tailbone's gonna come under, you're gonna lift up through the seat and stretch through those arms, opening up your body. Oh. And then roll down. One more like that. Just opening up 
the whole body, getting some movement, getting some flow, which can help your brain focus right away, then come down. And now we're just going to pause for a second, and I want you to think about what you want to think about in this session. So are you going today to focus on your abdominal connection? Is that going to be your intention? You keep coming back to that? What's happening in my abdominals? What's happening in my abdominals? That the brain drifts, we come back to that. Or are you going to focus on something like, be kind to myself? So as you're doing your work and, oh, it feels hard and I feel out of whack, come back to that thought. Be kind to myself. Be kind to myself. Be kind to myself. Be nice to myself. Good job, Denise. Good job, Denise. Okay, so pick your thought. Let that come to you. And then let's begin. So bringing the knees into the chest. I want your chin to come up on your chest. Your powerhouse is in. Your arms are long. Your legs are lifted. And then we're going to start our pumps. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. And what is the thought you are trying to focus on? And one, three, four, five. And exhale. Three, four, five. And inhale. Three, four, five. And exhale. Three, four, five. And inhale. Three, four, five. And exhale. Three, four, five, and inhale. Three, four, five, and exhale. Three, four, five, and inhale. Three, four, five, and exhale. Deepen, 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 inhale. Three, four, five, and exhale. Three, four, five, and inhale. Three, four, five, and exhale. Deepen the moves as in one more. Three, four, five, and exhale. Three, four, five, and bend your knees. Sit up. We're going to do a little roll back, hands under the thighs, chin down, tailbone under, start to curl into the back, and let's go to the middle back, stop right there, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, deep in the belly, breathe in, breathe out, and then come up, and sit up tall, lift through the spine, and then go down, tailbone under, squeeze the tush a little, and you're going to go all the way down and bring those arms back. What's your intention? Arms lift up. Focus on that thing. Two come up. Lift tall. Exhale. Go down and rounding through the spine. Deepen those low abs. Stretching back. Letting your back stretch. Come up. Curling forward. Scooping and lift through the spine. And again down. Toes of your powerhouse in. And then go all the way back. And arms come up. Chin to your chest, rolling forward this time. Stretch your legs all the way out. Reach to those toes. And then roll down. Stomachs in, deep and deep and deep in. And go all the way back. And then come up, powerhouse in. Woo! And go forward and stretch. And come down, deep in those abs. Scoop in. And go back. And come up, rolling forward, powerhouse in. Stretch to those toes. And come all the way down, deep and deep and deep and, and exhale. I would like you to get a strap or a um, shirt or something. We're going to do the stretch today. I'm going to grab my baby's blanket over here. My little guy's blankets. And we're going to go into a gorgeous hamstring stretch. So stretch up. Uh, this is amazing. So what is your intention? This is a very easy time to get back into it. And cross the leg over. Enjoy it. Try to enjoy the stretch. Maybe you focus on this one thing that you are trying to focus on that can help you enjoy this. Being in it, being with it. And then go outside. Ah! Oh. Opening, opening, feels so good. And then come back to center. Arms are by your sides, leg is up, and we circle one. And up, and two, and up, and three, and up, and four, and up, and five. Reverse, one, and up, and two, and up, and three, and lengthen, four. Focus, and five, what's your intention? Send your leg down, other side goes up, and stretch. Oh, goodness, this feels great. Oh. If you're focused 
on your attention, your body, cross your body over, cross the leg over, can actually access the results it wants or it can find the outcome it wants much more easily. Because by focusing on your intention, you are not, you have taken off the emergency brake, which is your negative thinking. You've taken off the thoughts that direct you away from your movement. And you've just removed, circle around, two, three, I'll come back to that, four, seven, six, in, five, reverse. One, what's your intention? Two, three, four, five, and go down. You've uh, removed, again, a roadblock, right? All right, we're going to bring the knees in. Your chin is on your chest. You're curling back round through the spine. Rock back. Come up one. Tummy's in. Rock back. Come up two. Can you get tight? Can you think of that intention? Come up four. Rock back. Come up five. Rock back. Whee! Come up six. Have fun with it. And you go back. Come up seven. One more, rock back, come up eight, and relax. Okay, let's go into a little bridge series. So coming down, bending the knees, take the tailbone under, lift the booty off again, just like we did in the beginning. From here, you're gonna take your right leg up to the ceiling, flex your foot, lower the hips down, press the heel up, two, and up, three, and up, four, and up, five, and up, six, intention, seven, and up, eight, and up, nine, and up, ten, and up, change the other side, extend the leg up, flex your foot, down, and up, two, and up, three, and up, four, and up, five, and up, six, and up, seven, and up, eight, and up, nine, and up, ten, and good. Come down, roll all the way down. Okay, our series of five. Really set that intention for this one. It's super hot in this room. Whew. It's a three season room, but it's so hot. Uh, so I am going to be sweating with you here. And this feels like it's going to be challenging. So I'm going to set my intention again and try to dig into that as I go one and one and two and two and three and three. And three. And four, and four, and five, and five. One more, six, and six. Bend both knees in. Stretch your arms and legs away. One, come in one. Two, come in two. Three, come in three. Four, come in four. Five, come in five. And six, come in six. Scissors, one, and one. Two, and two. Three, and three. Four, and four. Five, and five, six, and take a break. Hands come underneath your head. Chin comes up onto your chest, powerhouse is in, stretch your legs up. Lower your legs down a little bit, and come back up. And two, come back up. Tummy's in, three, come back up. Four, come back up. Five, what's your intention? Six, and elbow to do one, and one, two, and two. Three and three, four and four, five and five, six and go. Come down and relax. Okay, flip over onto your stomach. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Head is down, shoulders on the back. Start to lift up with the chest, rise, rise, rise. And then come down and down and down. Shoulder squeeze on the back, take the powerhouse with you. Lift up and rise. Rise, rise, and come down. And down, and down. One more, shoulders on the back. Lifting up and rise, 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 and come down, and down. And sit back over your knees and stretch in child's pose and reach. Reach, breathing out, reach. Okay, we're going to do the single leg kick today. If you don't know the single leg kick, join me for this. We're going to put our fists together like so. Elbows are down. Chest is lifted. Spine is long. Woo! I need that 
My psoas feels super tight. My psoas muscles open the chest and we kick, kick with one leg, kick, kick. Now, as you're doing this, your tummy's lifting. Try not to let your tummy hit the ground. Kick, 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 kick. Squeeze the tush, shoulders are down. Kick, 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 kick. Come all the way down, look to one side. Place your hands by behind your back. Squeeze, kick one, two, three. Plant your feet, lift up, up, up. Come down on the side. One, two, three. Plant your feet, up, up, up. Other side. One, two, three. Plant your feet. Lift, lift, lift. One more. One, two, three. Plant your feet. Lift, stretch, stretch, and sit back over those knees and reach. All right, let's do a few side kicks here today. We'll start with clams, bending knees, hand behind the head, powerhouse in. We open one and down, two and down, three and down. Four, down, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Flex the feet, lift up one, and two, powerhouse is in, and three, and four, and five, and what's your intention? Seven, and eight. Lengthen your legs out long, bring them front, kick front, go back, kick front, go back. Kick front, woo, go back, squeeze your tush. Kick front, go back, stay back behind you, little pulses up, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, circle in the back, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, reverse, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and good, come to the other side. <sighs> Getting ready for our clams. Powerhouse is in. We open one and down. Two and down. Three and four. And five and lower. Six and lower. Seven and lower. Eight. Flex the feet and lift and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four and down. Five. Six, seven, eight. Stretch the leg out long. Check into your intention. Get back to it. Front. Two. Two. And reach. Whoa. Three. And reach. Stretch along through that leg. Four. Stay back right behind you, pulsing up. And one. And two. Three. And four. Five, what's your intention? Think, keep focusing on that. Circle one, and two, three, and four. Five, and six, seven, eight, reverse. One, and two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, join me for a teaser. We're gonna finish with our teaser today and a little stretch. Bringing the knees into the chest. Start with your hands underneath your thighs. Chin comes up onto your chest, help yourself up with those hands, meaning pressing the thighs into the hands. And then stay there, extend your arms, hold. Put your hands under your thighs, chin to your chest, go down. That is version one. Version two is without the hands. You can keep version one if that's best for you. Come up, extend out, lift your arms, and come down. Now, keep your legs there if you can. Inhale, exhale, come up. Extend your arms, keep your legs there, come down, final one, inhale, exhale, come up, lift your arms, and then everything comes down, tummies in, stretching out long, and then bend the knees, allow the knees to drop over to the right, <sighs> stretching, opening, what is your intention? Even here, let's say your intention was to focus on your abdominals. Here, focus on them and allow them to release. You did a lot of work there. Go to the other side. What's the intention? 
Try to embrace it. Try to be with it. And you are done. Nice work. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, come to the core talk on Thursday and share with whoever you think would benefit from this. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.